Um, on the transform toolbar, I've made these guidelines to make imaginary axis. Because if I select the object and horizontal mirror it, it's going to rotate on this axis. And if I vertically mirror it, it will rotate on this axis. Now let's say I actually want it to look like this. I'm going to duplicate it, change the color of it, and I'm going to flip it. And then I'm going to put it right here like this. That's actually where I want it to stay. But I didn't want to have to take all those ne unnecessary steps. So I'm going to duplicate it again. And I'm going to choose this icon. So I'm going to actually make the hinge that it's going to rotate on. And it will flip it via that hinge and not the imaginary ones. You can also rotate counterclockwise by 45 degrees at a time. Count uh, clockwise 45 degrees at a time. Put your own number in, say 55 degrees, and notice the arrow is going to the left, which is counterclockwise. So it's going to go counterclockwise. If you want it to go the other way, just put negative 55 in there, and it'll go negative wise. This will skew it. Whatever degree positive number skews it to the right, negative number skews it to the left. Then the last one, what you need to do on it is if you want something to be based on a size, you want to change the size of something, I'm going to select both of these, but I want this one to be two inches wide in this area right here. So I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to click on this button and from here to here I want it to resize that area to two inches. And it resized both of them based on the line that I put for the reference line. Now if I wanted to duplicate this one and put it right next to it I can duplicate it, change the color, and then click this one, and I'm going to rotate it the way I need to. So I'm going to put the first <laughs> reference line here, the second one here, and then I'm going to put it right here and rotate it. I hold the shift key down and make it larger, and there's that. 